has suffered that defeat as well. Um, of course, losing to Alison Black in the final of... I mean, he only lost 3-2. This is talking about the last match against Etorito. He only lost three goals to two. Uh, so you take that into account, and if you say Etorito gets better and better, well, <laughs> he's he's got a chance here, but we'll, uh, we're definitely getting this one underway with Gefera attacking left to right, Maegeka from right to left, as we have an early so chance here. Yeah. Offside. The offside flag is raised, and rightly so. And uh, it's a chance for Maya Gekka to clear his line. So just two minutes on the clock. And do you feel that Maya Gekka needs a, a strong start, a quick start, or do you think he's going to try and play his way into it? Yeah, he would love a quick goal here just to really settle the nerves maybe a little bit, but he does have a chance. It was some lovely football, and we do have an early goal at him, and that's exactly what the Japanese man would have wanted. Absolutely, and, and we talk time and time again about how Maya Gekka has taken a lot of the responsibility of the Asian region over the last year or so. And uh, once again, he's uh, putting a firm foot forward for the Japanese, and uh, it's a stunning finish in the end. Oh, he worked it well. I mean, talk about a quick start. This was fed out wide, cut back really nicely, and then simple two passes, laid it square, back to him, and in the back of the net. And that now, Adam, that should open this up because Gaffari has to win this game if it obviously stands at 1 0. And uh, the uh, uh, lost me words. Beautiful. And is winning 5 1. The goal was that good, Ricky. <laughs> the goal was that good, but yeah, he's winning 5 1 elsewhere. So now, yeah, there's a good start to really open this match up. Yeah, this would put Maya Gekka on four points and going through to the knockout stages with Etorito on nine, with Guiaferra only on three points. As Ubamian picks the ball up, finds Iwobi looking for the instant response here, the Brazilian. But it's been cleared away. Is that a free kick on the edge of the area, Ricky? It looks like it very well, maybe. And we'll see what uh, the Brazilian decides to do here. We don't often see them strike it. Looks like he's peeling uh, Bellerin away. Does play it short. We'll probably try and deliver this in. Back towards Lacazette. He's got some space time deflection into Petacek. Yeah, seven minutes gone here. Petacek picks the ball up after a bit of a wasted free kick for me there. And lumped downfield towards Lacazette. Mike Ecker knows that a second goal and he would have one foot and uh, potentially three quarters of a body in the knockout stages and would leave one of the favourites going into the competition with it all to do as uh, Lacazette picks the ball up on the left-hand side, challenged by Hector Bellerin and fired away. Yeah, now he decides to swing it round the other way, Gaffer. He's got to make the most of his possession. We know how good he is in that final third. 12 minutes gone, but he finds himself a goal down as it's fed towards Aubameyang. Iwobi, Mkhitaryan, back to Iwobi. Plenty of bodies coming forward. He's got space down the right. Does find Hector Bellerin. Try to lay it back, Adam, but good defending. Brilliant defending indeed, and uh, it was Kolasinac, by the looks of things, who made the clearance. Now Hector Bellerin picks the ball up, plays it to Iwobi. Chance to cross it in, or will he jink back and find the simple pass? That's what he's tried to do, but that's too easy food and drink for Kolasinac, and now Lacazette picks it up, bursting down this left-hand side. Gwendozi comes across. It's been a really bright start in the opening 15 minutes or so from the man from Japan, Maya Gekka, and now Iwobi has the chance to come forward for Guiaferra. What does uh, Guiaferra need to do here, Ricky? Well, he's got to try and get possession as he has and really make the most of these chances. You know, he's going to work it down the flanks when possible, but when he gets the ball, he's got to hit it. He has played it really nicely. Surely there it is, the equalising goal. Composure at its finest. I mean, he just took his time, set himself, and he was never going to miss from about four or five yards. Well, that's exactly the response that Guiaferra needed. He went down very early against the run of play and against what most people thought was going to happen in this match. Nearly everyone had Guiaferra to win this and win this quite comfortably as uh, we see replays of the goal. But that's a wonderful, wonderful work move and exactly what. I said the Brazilian would have wanted it's a quick response, Ricky. Yeah, smart play, because he could have hit that there, I think it was uh, Iwobi, but decided not to, and Obama Yang, as clinical as he is, was never going to miss from there, but that has, of course, changed the tides now in the group with uh, pretty much uh, putting Gaffera back second. Etorito's going to qualify either way, a 5-1 uh, lead or at the moment for him, so uh, he just keeps playing so yeah. well, Etorito. He's going to be tough to stop. He will be, but it's uh, yeah, all eyes on this game as... Etorito, as you said, off-air has been uh, accumulating more and more goals as the games have been going in as Mkhitaryan finds Iwobi, now challenged and cleared away. Guerfera now senses a bit of blood and is going right for the jugular as uh, Willock plays it in field, but Lacazette comes back to do the dirty work that's needed there for Maia Gekka, and now 
Forward towards you, Batmangus opens up on the right-hand side. It's a chance for Nketiah, the goalkeeper thinks about coming. He goes back, it's back to Aubameyang. Boom. And it's another goal for Maya Gekka. And this is turning into some performance in the game that matters, Ricky. Yeah, what a goal as well. I mean, all the pressure down the other end. And all of a sudden, the 25-year-old from Japan, who's only been playing esports for about five years now, shows you what he is capable of. What a counter as well, Adam, from, from back to front, just like that. Yeah, and you wouldn't expect a goal to come when it's 1-1, uh, so early to come from a counter-attack, but certainly Guiaferra, as I said, was sensing blood, and he threw caution to the wind a little bit too much for me and left himself wide open at the back, and it was exploited in expert fashion by Maya Gekka, and he's showing why again he is not to be written off at all. What a performance so far. Yeah, great goal. Really smart play as well, because obviously Czech was coming out to close down the angle. And once again, Pama Yang is not going to miss an open net. So we are back now at 2-1. The Japan man has the lead, and he has to try and maintain it. That's the hard part. We're only 27 minutes in here with Willock now. And what has the Brazilian got up his sleeve? Because we've already seen Adam, he's got the quality, he just needs to try and create the chances more and put them in the back of the net, and here He'll is a chance. He'll certainly have more chances as the game goes on, as uh, Pedicek wow. with a double save. <laughs> and uh, Rene mentioned in the studio beforehand, of course, that uh, when you play for a draw, it's so difficult, it is. especially if you go behind, to uh, recover from that. But recovery has done once, he almost did again there. We're only half an hour gone. Uh, but certainly, it's an uphill task against Maya Gekka, who is uh, on some pretty hot form right now himself. Yeah, he's playing well. Just needs to keep that defensive shape, which isn't easy when you're playing up against these types of players. And there is space through the middle here. If Iwobi can find Yang, but that pass cut out nicely. And now the Brazilian can bring it forward with uh, Gundozi. So 30 minutes gone here, and uh, it is 2-1 to one in favour of the Japanese representative here qualifying through of course the Asian region whereas we're fairer through a very very strong America's region this year some great players there and we've seen a few already on stream today is Lacazette chance to turn in towards Aubameyang chance to Beautiful. play it back into Lacazette again brilliant save and it should have been 2-2 what a save though that is I mean I don't know if he pulled the goalie out here, but this was a chance. Are and you this, saying this was good manual goalkeeping, Ricky? I think Ricky? it very well was, because he came out very quickly and hit him right in the body. But a chance now for the corner. It's been a very, very lively first half, and you can only see the second half being even better. Because we always talk about manual goalkeeping, of course, it's more obvious when mistakes happen going in towards... To, oh, almost found its way through to Hector Bellerin, but fired away, and now a chance to counter again, and Maya Gek is looking absolutely... Breathtaking on the counter-attack, but on this occasion, unfortunately, Koscielny was able to mop up the danger. But, yeah, it's a dangerous, dangerous time now for Guiaferra. It is, and this will make this game so interesting, because if one goes behind, they have to take the gamble to try and get back ahead. It's It almost, it, it almost sorry to cut you off, it almost yeah. feels like it's the last 10 minutes of the match so far, and we're only 40 minutes gone. Yeah, absolutely right, Adam. Yeah, we've got five minutes left of this first half. It is neck and neck. Back and forth, here's Lacazette now. Maya Gekka brings it forward, pokes it on, flicked inside, Iwobi, he's got space, Aubameyang, Lacazette, oh, just couldn't find him. This game is on an absolute knife edge here, as uh, Maya Gekka knows that a third goal could see him into the knockout stages, and like I said, with only 44 minutes gone, we're only half-time, really, and uh, it, it feels like it, that climax is building as Nketiah in towards Aubameyang, chance for Mkhitaryan, and now Aubameyang again! Oh, my word, what a chance again for Maya Gekka to snatch a third, and it's finished. Just the two goals to one, Wow! but what a game we've had here, Ricky. Yeah, we get a chance to catch our breath here. <laughs> I mean, there hasn't been a ton of chances, but it feels like there has been. And uh, Brazilian of Gaffer has had 65% possession, but it's not happening for him in the sense that the ball won't go in the back of the net. Couple of changes, Adam, what's he going to do here? I mean, it's very, very difficult. I think he's just going personnel uh, here because in terms of that formation, both players will be, you would think, fairly happy with the pattern of play. They've both created plenty of chances, possibly might look to shore up the defence a little bit, certainly if you're Maya Gekka. Uh, because he knows the onslaught is gonna, you know, it's gonna happen, isn't it? It's gonna have to towards the back end. But certainly, as we start the second half, it's been one that's been full of action. Uh, as Inkatia picks it up on the right-hand side, and Maya Gekka looking to 
get off underway on the front foot, but one back by Guiaferra, and now Lacazette plays it up towards Inkatia on the other flank. Of course, both players choosing Arsenal, the firm favourite for uh, this season's competition. And, uh, of course, what a fitting venue oh, to yeah. match that up here yeah, at the uh, Emirates beautiful, Stadium. Beautiful venue, yeah, so 50 minutes in now. Guiaferra's looking to attack right to left. He's, of course, switched to the other side now. Ball is delivered in, there's the header! but comfortable for Czech, and no messing about, off and running. Yeah, absolutely, because Maja Gekka knows that uh, Guiaferri is most vulnerable straight after the attack. The counter-attack has proved very, very useful for him throughout the competition so far today, but most notably today, both of his goals have come from a period of uh, Guiaferra pressure, and he's on the front foot again here on the counter with Lacazette, chance to play it to Awobi, support in the middle from Aubameyang, back out towards Lacazette, good defending in the end, though, from Hector Bellerin, the pressure still on, though, and su are you surprised at how well Maya my, uh, Gekka is, you know, increasing that possession and pressure? I am, I'm very impressed, I'm also impressed, wait a minute, here is a chance for Danny Welbeck, but he's got to get it down quickly! And maybe if that's on his right foot, you fancy him, but the weaker side but there's a, you know, maybe a weakness. Ball over the top, Adam, try and exploit that. Could it be moments like that that see the 2017 world champion crash out in the group stages? Because remember, the last time we checked, Etorito was winning 5-1 in his remaining game, putting him on nine points in the group. Alamo on one point, which means this game will be decided well, the, the qualification will be decided by this specific game, and uh, at this moment in time, it will be Maya Gekka who's going through. Yeah, we have uh, numerous changes being made here uh, by Maya Gekka as well. And, uh, yeah, I've been impressed with the way he's played, also the fact that he is leading, but he's not just shutting up shop here and going defensive. And we've seen, as Rene said, playing for a draw often backfires because you just invite that pressure on yourself. Yeah, he knows that a draw will not be good enough, of course. Guia Farah, a draw will be his. Uh, John Jules has the chance to make it three. Oh, lovely. A lovely footwork in towards Aubameyang. It's there! It's there, wow. Ricky. And <laughs> Maya Gekka, at this moment in time, is sailing into the knockout stages. Brilliant play, absolutely sublime. Fired it into the far corner, and this is... Well, could it be curtains for the co-op champion of yesterday, Gaffiera? We, we touted him as a possible winner for this competition, and now we have to really see what he's capable of. But look at the, the, the dribbling. And then he lays it back and rockets this. And who else, Adam, but Aubameyang well, again. time and time again, as you said, again. But something we picked up in commentary was that nifty, Beautiful. quick footwork from John Jules. And, uh, well, is that one of the moments of magic which sees him go all the way here? Uh, and uh, another shot potentially brewing a storyline of uh, Maya Gekka could be just about to begin. Yeah, an hour played now, we still have time. I mean, in Pez or any kind of football game, anything can happen. As uh, here's a chance for the Brazilian, he does need an instant reply, and he has got one! This just doesn't stop, the well, drama continues. Well, 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 just when you're thinking about writing off Guiaferra, he comes back with a bang, it's almost like he was teasing us. It's like he was waiting for that next punch to come in, and then he'd go again, and it's back to 3-2, and again, he's now only one goal away himself from going through to the knockout stages. Right now, Ricky, I cannot call it two incredible performances, and what a game. Yeah, what a game. I mean, easily the best game we've had so far. Drama all across the board, and we still have about 25 minutes left, and yeah, we're back to just... One goal difference, and has Brazilian got what it takes to get that all-important equaliser? Well, 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 now you're going to see the test of nerves of Maia Gekka. Has he got what it takes to once again go again as a chance to play in towards Aubameyang? Well, hang well, on. Like, and he, oh. Oh, he was inches away from doing just that. And really, Ricky, that is a massive, massive chance that's come and gone. Yeah, will he rue the miss later? We say it often, but he very well could as the Brazilian now brings it forward. It's just back and forth, back and forth. This is the match you want to see and love. Here's Danny Welbeck now. Bit of space, dinks it over. Surely lays it back. He's got back. it. He's, He's got, got it. it. No, what a deflected clearance. Pretty much off the line, Adam. It comes once in a 
once in a Pez League tournament, you feel one of these games is just final? encaptures everything, encapsulates everything. And this is exactly what's happening in front of our eyes right now. 3-2, 70 minutes gone. We could have had nine goals so far as Awobi picks it up and plays it through towards Lacazette, one back. And uh, we haven't even had a chance to catch our breath to tell you about anything else that's going on so far in the competition right now as uh, it's pumped up towards the big man, Aubameyang. And uh, Maya Gekka is still 15 minutes away from going through to the knockout stages with Eterito winning elsewhere. He knows that four points will be enough as uh, Lacazette turns and then Hector Bellerin finds Socrates and Ricky, where do we go from here? How does Guiaferra get this next goal? Well, I think he has to just keep doing what he's doing because as the, I think as this goes down to the final few minutes, if you fancy the Brazilian, you fancy him to possibly get an equaliser. Here he comes now once again in Katia. He's got options in the middle. He floats it towards the back post, but no one's quite there. Back towards Iwobi though. Mike Ecker's got to defend, and he has to defend well. He's lost out. It's he's flicked on, looking for the back post, but Adam, he's overplayed it. I don't know about you, Ricky, but I am having kittens here. <laughs> I dread to think what the players are going through and the fans are like around the globe as Lacazette tries to find Socrates. How far forwards is he? He knows that caution to the wind has completely gone now as he knows that another goal is absolutely crucial to go through and there's only 10 minutes remaining and this might be the final change to see who is going going to be in the bracket to go through and uh, right now uh, the f uh, we've had a chance to catch our breath Rick I'm absolutely exhausted oh, what a game is being this is brilliant it really is and I'm sure you guys at home watching it are thoroughly enjoying this one whoever you're rooting for but we still have 10 minutes left in game minutes and here's a chance for Inketia but great challenge by uh, uh, Maya Gekka brings it forward now, he's got to maintain the ball somehow, yep. possess it, don't give it away sloppily, but he very well may go for broke, yeah, but he's lost it's, out. It's game management now, isn't it, Ricky, and uh, you can't see it, it's off screen, oh, it's another chance here! You can't see us off screen, but we are rocking with anticipation as uh, Lacazette <laughs> tries to win it back here, and now five minutes, a rule that stands between Maya Gekka from Japan going through to the knockout stages and sending the former 2017 World Pez League champion home crashing out but he still has that time and he has that ability as Inketia tries to play it through good defending again is time running out Gwendozi finds Hector Bellerin another chance to play it into the area he did it with the coach yesterday he can't quite do it on this occasion will he have another chance Ricky we're in injury time now we are and there's no play and that is the full-time whistle and look at the passion what a performance, Adam. It's almost like a final in the group stage. I mean, we were on the edge of our seats. We're not sitting down, but <laughs> absolutely unreal. Well, 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 we are absolutely exhausted here, as I'm sure are the players. Nice to see, of course, the players there congratulating, uh, of course, Maya Gekka from going through and commiserations, of course, to Guiafara, who we will see going home at the first point of call. A, a bit of an upset you have to say here, uh, and that's taking nothing away from Maya Gekka just